So be careful. Yeah, in the splash zone here. Yeah. 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 Not for today, but perhaps on lunch day, we will join you happily in eating these JPL peanuts and to bring good luck to NISAR. Thank you so much.
Today is about more than hardware. It's about more than outstanding science. It's about people and it's about partnerships. It's about the members of our NASA and JPL team working with our ISRO colleagues. They've worked so closely together to overcome all sorts of challenges, global pandemic, for example, to really get us to today. The ceremony reminds me of the tradition of bringing a bottle of champagne over the bow of a new vessel before it starts its journey. The coconut ceremony is a reminder that no matter how different we are culturally, at the core, we are all the same. We are all looking for fair winds and good luck. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Well, we want to go far, and it is wonderful to do so with our friends at ISRO. Virtually everybody on this earth is going to be affected by the science data that NYSAR is going to return. Farmers, knowing they're overwatering, underwatering, don't plant in this field, optimizing their crop yield, which is extremely important throughout the world. So NYSAR has the ability to touch everyone. And there's not many science missions that can say that. This mission is unique in many, many ways. It's providing continuous coverage of the Earth, land and ice covered surfaces, comprehensive coverage. It's at a long wavelength so it can see day and night. It produces a reliable data set in an unprecedented fashion that is going to service scientists and applications users alike for many years to come. I am very excited about the possibilities that uh, will come out of this in terms of the products and our understanding of the Earth and how that affects humans. I mean, it's not just for US and India, but for the entire globe, the satellite is going to be such a phenomenal you know, outcome of this collaboration. Today, when we flag off uh, NISA, I, I want to tell you that uh, this is not the end of this journey. It's going to be the beginning of the journey that we have uh, the collaboration between JPL and ISRO, and we look forward to uh, projects and programs that will benefit both those nations in the technology side, in application side, and in the scientific understanding of this universe. We have been working on an interesting uh, payload, the NISA, the Sundari Kaparcharada, in two bands, L and S band. Uh, the integration of this payload both at India and at JPL has been now completed. It has gone through all the development testing, evaluation. Now we are flagging off from JPL to India for the further integration with the satellite bus and to get ready for the launch in the next one year or so. So I'm here for the flag off of that part of work that has already been completed. See, this is a very important mission, uh, one of the very complex satellite. You, know, you must realize that the, the Elements that are owned by JPL, built by JPL, they're, they're excellent. One is the L-band Sintetika uh, the the antenna, which is a deployable antenna, which is a 12-meter diameter, which is capable of handling both these bands and then create the radar imaging capabilities, one of the excellent things, the entire mechanism for it. Then uh, the, uh, the integration of these two things to not to create the electromagnetic interference and other related issues which are typical of any radar imaging satellite that has been handled by the JPL team very well. Now, now it's our turn to make the rest of the system work.